Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Courseify. So this course is about Indian geography mapping when we are at part 2 which is political map of North India. So you can follow this course at civilcourseify.in slash courses slash Indian geography mapping. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash civil courseify and you can download the Civil Courseify Android app from the Google Play Store absolutely for free. Alright then, let's begin. So let us look at some important points for North India. So in this video, we'll cover J&K, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Uttarakhand and Haryana. So let us look at uh, the neighboring states of each one of these states. So J&K has Punjab and Himachal Pradesh as its neighboring states. Himachal Pradesh has Punjab, J&K, UK and Haryana. UK is Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand has UP and Himachal Pradesh. Punjab has J&K, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan. Haryana has Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, UP and Rajasthan. So you should uh, remember the neighboring states by uh, a pictorial representation in your mind. The, uh, the map should be uh, totally ready in your brain whenever you go into the exam. So uh, this is how you can remember them. If you try and mug them up by just looking at the uh, uh, text that is written here, it is really difficult. So you'll have to understand by looking at this particular map. So we'll uh, understand through the magnified view of the map uh, later in this video. So the international boundaries of states, uh, JNK has boundaries with Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, uh, Himachal Pradesh has boundaries with China, Uttarakhand has chi boundaries with China and Nepal, uh, Punjab has boundaries with Pakistan. So Haryana does not have uh, any boundary as you can see here, uh, Rajasthan and Punjab overshadow the boundary of Haryana with Pakistan. Alright then, so let's uh, look at the magnified view of this North India map. Alright, so this is the map for North India. The states that we are concerned with are Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Haryana and Punjab. So let us look at them one by one. So Jammu and Kashmir has a capital Srinagar and uh, the territorial boundaries with Punjab and Himachal Pradesh international boundaries with Pakistan, Afghanistan and China. Then it is, then we move on to Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh has boundaries with Punjab, JNK, Uttarakhand, Haryana. Next is uh, Dehradun. So the capital of Himachal Pradesh is Shimla. The capital of Dehradun, uh, Uttarakhand is Dehradun. And Uttarakhand has uh, boundaries with uh, Himachal Pradesh. Does not have a boundary with Haryana. One boundary with uh, Uttar Pradesh. So the international boundaries of Himachal Pradesh is with China and Uttarakhand, China and Nepal. So Haryana uh, has boundaries with Punjab, Rajasthan, uh, Himachal and UP. Next is Punjab. Punjab has an international boundary with Pakistan, territorial boundaries with Rajasthan, Haryana, uh, JNK and Himachal Pradesh. Right, so these were the states of North India. One more thing that we need to understand is that UPSC asks various observational questions. So let us look at the capitals of these states. Srinagar, then there is Shimla, Dehradun and Chandigarh. So can we arrange them from north to south? The first one would be Srinagar. And the second one would be Shimla or Chandigarh. It would be Shimla of course. Shimla. The third one would be Chandigarh and uh, the fourth one would be of course Dehradun. So we should be ready for such questions. We should observe the maps very uh, properly with a lot of detail and we should look for corners in the maps because that is where UPSC would definitely ask you questions. Uh, places where people generally tend to forget and uh, they do not uh, pay much attention to those places. So this is how you observe different aspects of the map. So this is it for this video. In the next video we will discuss part 3 which is political map of Western India. So you can join this course for free, follow us on Facebook and don't forget to download this Civil Courseify Android app from the Google Play Store. So till then, thank you and have a nice day.